everybody Ann here sitting in the tiny house having my coffee with all of you it's been raining off and on for a couple days which has made filming kind of hard because this pounding down rain I couldn't even hear myself talking over the rain so I haven't finished the tutorial yet um, I haven't really been filming at all very much but um, I've been taking a few clips here and there papa chickens and that kind of stuff but it's almost my birthday, and I keep getting stuff in the mail from lovely people. So I'm going to show them to you right now. No, ch -ch -ch this time, because I have been ordering stuff myself, and um, they've been coming in uh, to my home address because I order off of Amazon. Um, so there were a few things that I thought that I had ordered. Um, and so I opened them. So I just ended up opening everything. So I'm going to show you what they are now. Okay, first, first, these came in two separate boxes, but these, and I got two boxes of them, two boxes, taco kits, and I love these because, well, I like to make tacos, and they've got everything in it that you need, and these were on my pantry Amazon affiliate pantry store list because I've ordered these before and uh, multiple times in fact and I love them because the the taco shells are very very crisp you really don't even have to cook them although I do put them in a in a cast iron skillet and just turn them over a couple times to just make them super extra crispy but it has everything sauce seasoning and 12 taco shells so this is wonderful okay next all right I had to open these because, and I know for sure that these were on my pantry list. These bars, they are so good. They are so delicious. And I've already taken them out and eaten a couple. I put them in my, um, my cooler because uh, it's so hot and they melt and I don't want them to melt. Um, so they're in there now. I think I got about half of the box left. <laughs> okay, next. Next, next, next. Let's see. Now I know for sure that these were on my pantry list. Shells and cheese, yum, lovely, I love these. They're easy to make, all you gotta do is pour like boiling water in them and just let them sit for a little bit and you got yourself a meal. So who are all these from? Um, I checked the notes from each box and yep, they are from Grandma Net. Jeanette P., thank you so much, Jeanette. These are wonderful. You picked out the exact stuff that I would have ordered myself. So thank you. That is wonderful. You are looking out for me. I love you. Okay, next, this came to my post office box. And it is a card. Came in a pretty yellow, a green uh, envelope. And it is a birthday card with... An Amazon gift card for fifty dollars, and this came from this came from Sarah H. So this is going to go into the fund uh, for my generator. So that is wonderful. And in a minute here, I'm going to count them all up and see how many I got. Okay, last but definitely not least, I got <laughs> I got two more of these. These have been on my uh, Amazon wish list, $15 Amazon gift cards, and I haven't opened any of them yet. I'm just saving them all up. Two more, and these came, um, let's see, hi Ann, I hope you can get your generator quickly. Sure will help you charge batteries and cool your house. Absolutely. Take care and God bless from Elaine. Thank you so much, Elaine. So I'm going to pull all of these Amazon things together and show you how much so far I've been able to accumulate. Okay, I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight of the $15 gift cards plus one $50 gift card. So that's a total of $170 plus whatever I've got saved in my gift card balance account. I did have to buy something with it, and I'm going to talk to you about that in a bit. But it's getting closer, so I really only have... Well, with tax included in everything, it's going to be just under $600, so you guys can do the math. So thank you, everybody. I'm going to get this generator. I just know I am. 
Okay, now to talk about, well, the little thing that I bought with uh, my gift card balance that I had been accumulating myself. I'm going to show you right now. I have bought me a new charge controller. This is very low end. It's not an MPPT charge controller. Um, it's just a very, very basic one. The good thing is it has two USB ports and it is working. It is charging, of course, today's not very sunny, so it's not charging a whole lot, but it is working. And I'm gonna show you what happened to the other charge controller. See that? This is my Renogy Rover charge controller. It's totally melted. This is the uh, positive battery cable slot and the cable was melted. Um, I'm going to see if I can take this apart and see if there's something I can replace or fix. Um, but my guess is this is shot. And I think it's because it didn't shut down. Um, it didn't stop charging. It allowed it to overcharge and it heated up. It's been very hot in this tiny house and solar doesn't do that well with um, you know, the heat but it wasn't charging my batteries anymore and also I think my batteries may have been too deeply discharged too many times so I'm going to let the batteries charge for a few days without putting any load on them just to see if I can get them back up to an acceptable level um, so yeah this is what happened it may have started happening when I had that little meltdown there where I uh, lifted something and something started sparking and the battery uh, terminal melted on that one battery but uh, for now, this was, it wasn't working. So I'm going to see if there's something I can do to fix this. Because this is an MPPT charge controller. It will charge my batteries faster, but it'll also run pretty hot. I mean, the cables got so hot. So, yeah, that's what happened. Now, this one only cost me like 25, 28 bucks. But it is working. And um, let's see how much we're getting in. Uh, only 3.1 amps, but I mean, considering that it's not sunny outside, that's, uh, that's okay. So, yeah, just a very basic one, and but it's working. It suits my purposes. It's not going to charge fast, but it has some features that I like. It will stop charging when it gets up to a certain level, and it will cut off if it gets down to a certain level. Now, that's normally the job of an inverter, too. Um, it won't, you know, the inverter has nothing to do with charging, but it will not function um, if your batteries are too low. So, um, I'm just going to use this one for now until I can figure out what's going on with the Renogy Rover. Hopefully I can fix it. If not, I'm just going to use this one. And here's my inverter. It's been working very well. It continues to work well. Um, but the thing is, is with the Renogy, I know this is upside down, but oh well. Um, the Renogy's readings were completely different from this one. And uh, so once I took the Renogy off, this one has the same readings, you know, for how much the battery has in it as my new charge controller. So, yeah, and I just got this all open right now because I want to keep an eye on it and give it plenty of ventilation. That'll change once I drill a hole through the wall, and I am going to drill a hole through the wall for the cables. Anyhow, so this inverter is still working famously, so that at least is good. And now for some chicken and puppy TV. What are you doing, Papa? What are you doing? Ooh! Demon doggy! Demon doggy! Take a look at this one, you guys. What do you think? Rooster? I don't know. Big cone. I'm not convinced it has the tail feathers of a rooster yet, though. It's so hard to tell right now. And here's Torch. Now look at those tail feathers. They're definitely going down. And I know it's hard for you to see, but the feathers around his neck are finer and pointier. I don't know, guys. I think I may have two roosters. So for the rest of the day, I it is my goal to at least get up one shelf. So hopefully I get that done and hopefully it doesn't rain so when I'm doing the U-cut tutorial I can speak over it and people can hear me. But um, well, I guess in tomorrow's video you'll see if I 
put up a shelf or not, and if it's level. <laughs> anyway, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.